Hey, what is up guys, Klaus next here, and let's talk strength for a minute. I wanna to talk to you guys about why I was unable to make strength gains for a really long time. I could not figure it out, man. I was going to the gym, I was putting in the work, you know, I was getting under the barbells, I was doing everything that I thought it took to be strong. I have a bad bench. I've always had kind of a weak legging chest. As you guys know, I've been really working on that. And I've been making some really good progress. But in the past, I just could not get those numbers up. I couldn't figure out why my bench wasn't getting stronger. I was working on it just as much as I was everybody else. But for some reason, it wouldn't grow. So now, I think everybody has their compound exercises that they're better at than the other ones. You know, the ones that you just progress faster in. And that just kind of depends on your genetics and who you are and your, and your build and what you enjoy doing. But there's always gonna be those exercises that kind of fall behind. So this was my problem, all right? I would go into the gym and I would feel it out, okay? That doesn't work for strength training. Because I before I was going into strength training, I was very much into bodybuilding. Now bodybuilding, you're kind of going very much for feel, you know? You've got that mind-muscle connection, you're going for a pump, you're going high volume, you know, four sets of 12, and you're just kind of going for reps. So you can kind of, you can do better feeling it out. If you're feeling stronger one day, if you're feeling weaker one day, you can get by feeling it out. You can get pretty big, you know, just by feeling it out. And a lot of bodybuilding is being very connected to your body and feeling what feels right. And you know, that works. But that doesn't always work with strength training because strength training isn't so simple as going in there and feeling it out. You kind of have to be calculated with what you're doing. You have to have a plan. You have to have a program as what you're doing. You can't just go into the gym and just wing it and kind of hope for gains. So what I did, I would get under the bench press and I would press. You know, I'd do a warm up set and then I would do another set with a weight that was not very hard for me. And I would kind of work my way up to the highest amount of weight that I could do. So I would do what's called a pyramid style workout. Start with a lighter weight at more reps, and then as my weight got higher, I would do a little bit less reps, less reps, until I get to what was kind of my best, and I would get like one, one and a half, and then, you know, then I was done, because that's just what I did. Thought it was better to feel it out, right? You start at a lighter weight, you work away to a heavier weight. I always thought, feel it out. It doesn't work like that, especially if you're legging at something, feeling it out's not always the best. You, you're not smart enough to know just by your feelings as to what you should be doing. Okay, so what should you do then? Well, I recommend if you're into strength training, go to the gym, spend, you know, a week testing your PRs, kind of see what is the most you can do. Okay, just write off some workouts. It's just kind of, you're, you're, you're testing out what your max capabilities are. So then you figure out your best. You figure out what you can do for one. Not that pyramid crap where you get tired before you even get to your heaviest weight. Just go singles. Then once you know what you can do for one, you figure out how many you can do for five. Okay, so this is one RM testing or five RM testing. So if you're good with math, or like me, you're not good with math, you can download apps that can calculate your percentages. So, so 400 is the highest which you can do for one rep on your deadlift, then figure out what you can do set, you know, for five reps. So that might be what you're gonna do 70% or 80%. So then once you figure out what you can do for like a five by five, you gotta practice that five by five number. You don't practice what you're, your strongest at, you start small, okay? Which, which you can realistically do for five reps. And then what you can do, you know, four more sets. So a five by five, right? Five sets of five. So figure out what you can do for a five by five. Obviously it's like anything else, that fifth rep should be a bit of a battle. And then after you figured out your five by five numbers, you start progressive overloading, which means you start to add a little bit on every single week. You start, you know, I'm not talking by adding a 10 every time you work out. I'm talking 2.5s, the, the little, plates that you can find on the tops of your weight trees, right? The ones that are kind of embarrassing because you feel like you sneeze out more content than you're putting onto the barbell with those things. But trust me, this is how the body adapts. You know, it's progressively, slowly. You'll get stronger if you do this. Don't go into the gym and feel it out. If you feel stronger one day, stick to your numbers. If you're feeling weaker one day, stick to your numbers. Some days are gonna be weaker, some days are gonna be stronger. Just do the best you can, stick to your plan. Over time, slowly, but over time, you will get stronger. Be patient and it'll be there. Boss next out.